But anyway, circling back to the conversation of receptors. Receptors are protein-like keyholes, and depending on the hormone and how it fits into the protein keyhole structure, different messages can be sent to a cell to perform different tasks. DHT joins itself to the androgen receptor and messages the androgen receptor on the hair follicle cells to miniaturize and stop producing strong hairs over time. DHT has a significantly higher binding affinity for the androgen receptor compared to testosterone. In fact, DHT has been estimated to bind to the androgen receptor with about two to three times greater affinity than that of testosterone. This means that on a molecular level, DHT is more effective at activating the androgen receptor than testosterone is. The difference in binding affinity is one of the reasons why DHT is a more potent androgen in certain tissues of the body. For instance, the effects of DHT in the prostate and the scalp hair follicles are more pronounced than that of testosterone, which can lead to conditions such as benign prosthetic hyperplasia and male pattern baldness in individuals with genetic predispositions. So like I said before, DHT has a binding affinity for the androgen receptor that is approximately two to three times stronger than that of testosterone. Considering the two times factor, if DHT is two times more potent than testosterone, it means that testosterone's binding affinity is half or 50% of DHT's. So when compared to DHT, testosterone's binding affinity is 50% of DHT's affinity if we're considering that DHT is two times stronger than that of testosterone. That's just for the lower bound. For the upper bound of DHT being three times stronger than that of testosterone, that would mean that DHT's binding affinity to the androgen receptor is 300% that of testosterone's. Consequently, testosterone's binding affinity would be about 33.3% that of DHT's binding affinity. Now, the precise numbers can differ based on the study, but in general, DHT has a considerably higher binding affinity for the androgen receptor compared to testosterone.